um, and Superdrug is the is the, the place. And my Superdrug is useless actually because um, they've got loads of those camo 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 CC powders or something, and they, they just they don't have any waffling again. Right? Okay, shut up, shut up. I'm showing up now. You've got to laugh, though, guys. And yeah, it's no point living if you don't laugh. You know what I mean? Dime qué es lo que esperas. Dime qué quieres ver. Hello beautiful ones, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Joseph, it's really lovely to meet you. Now then guys, in today's video, we're gonna be having a close look at this, which is the Elf, can you see that? Don't know if you can see it or not, because it's ever so bright in here. This is the Elf Halo Glow Setting Powder. And um, I also got this the other day, which is the um, the Collection Hydra Setting Powder. This has got hyaluronic acid, a few vitamins in it as well. And I'm gonna be showing you today how to get a, a, a perfected look, but without using foundation. So if that sounds like something you guys wanna find out more about, stay tuned. So my gorgeous ones, this one was five pounds from Super Drug, five or six pounds. Again, I'll, I'll check and I'll pop it down here. I'll certainly leave, link it into the description. This, the e.l.f. powder costs something like 13, 14, between 13 and 15 pounds, so around 20 to 23 US dollars, I imagine. So it's a lot more, I think, than the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter, which is um, which I have reviewed. And again, I'll link that into the description. I'll pop that, back up. maybe try and work out how to put it up there. Shall I try that? I could try, couldn't I? I certainly try. Maybe I'll dedicate my entire Sunday to working out how to link videos on one's current video, but it might not work, guys. So, so beautiful ones. This one is called the um, the Elf Halo Glow Setting Powder, and this I imagine is is quite well. In fact, I know it will be very, very glossy, very shiny, very shimmery. Without any further waffle, shall I describe what I can see in my hand? So it comes in a a clear plastic um, a plastic box with frosting here and here and a, a panel so you can see the product inside basically and I think it just comes in one shade I'm not too sure but I could check that couldn't I and it says on the back halo glow setting powder want your skin to look like it's wearing a beauty filter don't we all I do certainly <laughs> this weightless setting powder is formulated with finely milled synthetic sapphire particles to blur imperfections smooth the look of fine lines control shining create a natural soft glow makeup looks and feels fresh throughout the day so there's some claims there aren't there guys but without any further waffle i'll take him oh it's again it's sealed up to within an inch of its life it's like getting to fort knox oh, i have to break the no no breaking going on. once you've managed to fight your way through all of the security sealing which uh, Superdrug and sainsbury's do that in the uk i'm not too sure why then just take them out of the box and discard your box which has just ended up on the floor but um and it comes in quite a nice i guess that looks quite classy doesn't it giving me vibes of um clinique's blended blended face powder although this will be much much more glow glowing than or, or sh shimmery than the clinique one and it's got the elf ELF, which stands for eyes, lips and face, if any of you didn't know out there. And on the front, it says Halo Glow setting powder down here. And it's just a bog standard pot, really. Nothing extraordinary there. And a, a sort of like a candy sort of pink, sort of a, an orangey pink sort of color. Flesh tone, I would call that. So guys, this is the, the product. And I have, I've never opened this before. This is a, the first, this is an un unboxing basically. Um, I I've, I've didn't even know anything about this product until I saw it in um, Superdog. Can you see it's got like a a, um, a, a plug or something? I, I don't know what you'd call that. And, and just, I don't know if you're supposed to tear it off or pull it up or what really? Don't really know, goodness me. I'm not twisting it. Okay, twisting, oh, it's gonna come. Is it? No. How on earth are you supposed to get the powder out? Oh, I see. So for any of you guys out there who don't have a degree in engineering, and I certainly don't, this is quite difficult to get into. Once you've taken the lid off it, there's like a dial sort of thing, which if you turn it that way, it covers up the perforations with a, a, pl a clear piece of a clear piece of plastic. So you can't actually access the, um, do you know what I mean? The holes in there and the holes have actually got film over them anyway. So what you need to do is turn the dial back that way to expose that. Can you see those little holes in there? I've got a little tip for you guys now. So once you've turned the dial around to expose the, the holes or the perforations, there's actually a, another piece of uh, sticky cellophane over the top of the holes, thus preventing um, spillage or leakage. And they're asking you to remove the, the, um, the piece of cellophane or the sticky tape or whatever it is. Um, but, and this is my hack for today, get yourself a pin and just perforate those holes if you can. Yeah, there's one, two, Three, I might have to speed this bit up, sorry guys. And by 
perforating the the holes, the existing holes, which are covered with cellophane by, with a pin. Um, we're making much, much smaller holes, thus controlling the, the amount of powder we get out. So put the lid back on here. It probably won't even work, guys, but give them a quick shake. Hopefully this has worked. Uh, yep, can you see? So there's our powder, but we've got a, we've got quite a controlled amount of powder there. If I hadn't have pricked the holes into the the um, the perforations, that would be everywhere by now. It's pretty messy as as is, but it's not as messy as it could have been, is what I'm trying to say. And fortuitously for us guys, there's just a, the right amount in the lid for us to to try this stuff out with. So, I'll, what I'll do is I'll just can you see that bit on my finger? Just put some onto my face just to see how it wears. It feels a little bit. Um, grainy actually it might just be my imagination but bearing in mind this is just a setting powder do you know what i mean um there's no need to get really excited over this because it will all it will do is just hold makeup in place it may have a very sh a slight sheen to it or a glow to it let's have a look at that shall we wow am i resembling a piece of salmon skin or not hopefully not what I've done, beautiful ones, is I've just decanted some more of the powder into the lid, and um, this time I'm going to put it all over my face. Why not, eh? It's what we're here for today, isn't it? So I'm just going to use my stippling brush because this is, I can't find my powder brush. It's in this building somewhere, um, but it's hiding from me for today. So just knock off the excess. And let's start by dusting, uh, putting a dusting of him on our faces, shall we? Get a little bit more on. It's something and nothing. Do you know what I mean, guys? It's um, I, I don't know if this is a gimmick or not, or I guess we need to apply it over the top of foundation, really, don't we, to get the best results. But I'm putting loads of this on. Ah, I can see a bit of a glow on my old nose. Which is what we'll need to do to get my, uh, my perfected look without using foundation. Are you all okay, beautiful ones? Hope so. Today it's mm, a bit cloudy, mackerel clouds in the sky, which I think isn't that an indication that there's a storm on. We've just had a great big storm as well. Just keep dusting it in, guys. You know, circular motions to push the um, the powder into this into the pores. This would diffuse the um, the look of any fine lines and wrinkles. Wow, it's quite glowy, isn't it? Glowing, I should say. So what I'll do now is I'll put my glasses on and have an inspection. They're quite clean. Okay. Yep, liking this stuff. There are certain ways I can tell whether something's something's working for my skin or not, and I can tell by that looking at the end of my nose. Um, by the way, skin's nose diving again quite severely at the moment. I'm on salicylic acid peeling, and what I tend to do is rotate. So I, I do one week on, three three weeks off. So and I'm about halfway through my week on of. Wow, look at that area there, beautiful ones. Wow, it's incredible, isn't it? Considering I had nothing on my skin at all. I've, in fact, I've just had a, a nice hot bath, shaved my skin again, which I do for every every uh, tutorial, before every tutorial for you beautiful ones. But if I come back here, what do you reckon? It's certainly, ah, you can see the area between my eyebrows, can't you guys? Wow. Okay, this could be a pass by me. That's not the point behind today's tutorial. That we're not, I'm not supposed to be reviewing this powder today. I'm teaching you how to do a... Right, shall I show you now how to do the, the hack, which are, well, it's not hack, it's just a technique. So you'll need your your powder and you'll also need the um, this one as well, the elf powder. So, oh, and water <laughs> and a foundation brush. Okay, so beautiful ones. In order to do my, my technique, you need a bowl full of water, cold water, warm. If, you're, if cold water sends your body into physical shock like it does mine, then use slightly tepid, lukewarm water. Um, this is lukewarm because obviously what I've just said you know but oh, okay. <laughs> it's all going hideously wrong so get your powder and beautiful ones you'll also need your uh, your white powder so it and it has to be white as well unfortunately so just tap off the excess water put your bowl away because otherwise you know how clumsy I am guys don't you so in today's we're going to be forming the paste which which you've seen me do before um and you can see that brush is sopping wet can't you so again just apply on straight onto the powder compact this is setting powder by the way and it is in, a, in the form of a a um a compact uh, i should have washed my brush beforehand because it's left a slightly pink sort of um a pink mess really on the um on the powder but that should be plenty in fact there's loads there so just 
apply that on the on get on the back of the hands and what this technique does is it fills in pores and gives you a veil of perfected perfection basically perfected perfection what's the man talking about guys eh <laughs> and work it in quite quickly before you know because we're just using water here this will dry pretty down quickly guys this method won't give you loads of coverage but it certainly will just you know perfect um perfect skin so that it, it looks better than if you didn't do this technique um and you, the trick behind this or the, the important thing to do behind this technique is to blend as much as possible so and this powder actually has silicones in it which means that you know that we we can blend safely with water or we can mix water into the recipe or, or method if you like um without fear of you know it, it becoming cakey or powdery what have you i'm going to shut up now guys because i'm starting to annoy myself <laughs> happens on quite a regular basis beautiful ones it does and somehow by using water and um you know creating the paste we are changing the nature of the the powder because as i've just said you know it's got silicones it's turn that over if you've got more powder on one side than the other you know just flip your your brush over i've used way too much here guys so i have to start this again but hey that's what it's all about isn't it guys so just work that into the ears and that's starting to dry already i can feel it oh wow that does feel really nice on the skin so let's have a look shall we Wow. Casper. <laughs> Obviously, I need to tidy up beard, so, um, you know, be careful when you're applying this method to whiskers or facial hair. I've used too, too much of this now. So. Right, guys, should we try this again? So... This time my brush isn't soaking wet, it's somewhere between soaking and and damp. So I, I had to blot it off in the end. So this time we need to apply a lot less than before, didn't don't we? So right, starting in the center of the face and working as quickly as possible. And I'm pushing this into my pores as well as sweeping at the same time. And you've got to work quite quickly with this method, guys, because obviously as the water dries. Uh, sorry the water evaporates and leaves the powder behind it um it, it can gather it can gather do you know what i mean guys so um so yeah work as quickly as possible um but this this method just gives you like a, a veil of um of perfection and i have done a video on this um but i haven't i haven't included the second stage which i'll be showing you how to do in a minute so just that should be plenty Wow, I looked like hideous before, didn't I? And I guess that just proves that, you know, a lot, a lot of the time I am just doing this. These are experiments um, and these methods, they are in development or they are, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not established yet. They're just, um, well, they're techniques which I'm experimenting with and sharing them with you beautiful ones out there. So that's one layer of him on. And you can put that over there because... Otherwise, that would get everywhere. You can build this up, beautiful ones, but let's have a look at him now. Ah, that's better. Can you see around here? It hasn't quite dried yet, so start fanning one's face. <laughs> Where's my fan? It's in the bedroom. I, I can't be able. I, I can't go and get it now, guys. But and where it's dried, it does tend to turn. Well, obviously, it turns powder, doesn't it? Because all we've done is we've put powder and water onto our skin. Can you see my skin, guys? How good it looks at the minute. And I've got absolutely nothing on my face other than the powder and the water. I don't use primer. Um, I don't use moisturizer, serum. I just apply everything I use onto, onto my skin, bare or virgin skin. Um, so if I just, can you see the, oh, wow, my skin just feels incredibly soft. And that's because the silicones in the powder have interacted with the water, which we've added with the brush. And it's just transformed the look of the powder. If I just gone in with the powder straight out of the, the, uh, the compact, it would look really powdery by now, wouldn't it? But can you see it's really glowy and really, really shiny? Not shiny, it just looks really healthy, doesn't it? So, should we move on to stage two? Why not? Now, beautiful ones, because we have just filled my pores with the translucent white powder, my, all my pores now have diminished or disappeared, haven't they? Um, and my skin looks airbrushed. 
we're going to go in with a, a layer of the elf halo glow setting powder just and that's it and that's my technique for today really simple isn't it and really easy but i think you'll be amazed at the results of the, the, the way this looks on the skin so again start in the center of the face and i'm dabbing do you see what i mean I'm, I'm not sweeping this time i'm dabbing the powder on because if I'd swept it on, although the, the water and the um, the translucent white powder, which I put on first of all, has bonded with my skin, so it won't budge for all day now, guys. Um, there might be a slight risk of, of disrupting some of it, so that's why I'm dabbing this on. And also by dabbing this powder on, we're um, we're in effect pushing this into my pores too and helping it seal the, the, the deal for the day and helps it last longer onto the skin. And also by dabbing, I'm giving myself a little bit more coverage as well too. And one last tip for today, guys, if you want a lighter touch, hold your foundation brush or your, your any brush you use at the end. If you want to, so say I was going to, I want a sheer cheek. <laughs> if there's any such thing as a sheer cheek, hold your brush at the end. If you want more, more coverage and a more, um, more thick, sort of th more coverage, basically just hold your, hold your brush nearer to the, to the, you know, the, the bristles. So. That's it. So beautiful ones. Should we have an inspection of my skin now? I think it looks quite good. Airbrushed, perfected, and we haven't used foundation at all, have we? We haven't. We've used this one soaking wet and we've used the, the e.l.f. I've only got the lid here because the powder is going to go everywhere again if, um, you know, the e.l.f. Halo, set, Halo Glow Setting Powder. We soaked our brush first of all, didn't we? Not sopping. Well, first of all, I applied it sopping wet and made myself look like um, a ghost or as if someone had tipped an entire bag of powder on my face or talc or something then I removed that layer didn't I and then we realized that you have to go in with smaller smaller layers and a lot less product um but we pushed it into the pores didn't we to, to fill in my pores and because it's translucent basically invisible on the skin you won't be able to see it on the skin and then by going in with the halo glow setting powder all we've done there is we've added a little bit of dimension to the to the whole look because that, that look can look a little bit flat i suppose sometimes although i didn't think it looked flat at all did you guys once i'd applied it and it had dried on my face no maybe I, I i didn't think it did anyway but um and then we went in with the elf didn't we the elf halo glow setting powder which has just given my skin a beautiful sort of polished expensive look hasn't it um and it's airbrushed my skin although i haven't got any foundation on my skin at all and the coverage is really good as well isn't it so if, if you guys out there don't have any foundation or you've run out of foundation or you're on holiday and you don't want to take bottles of foundation with you just take two powders with you guys make sure one of them is the you know a white translucent powder like the hydra um hydra setting powder and you'll also need quite a glowing sort of or light reflective powder and loads of companies sell them i know that nars do collection do elf do um and do, do you know what i mean you, you could just have skin that looks amazing and these two will last you ages as well because we're using such small amounts aren't we beautiful ones so and i guess beautiful ones there's nothing stopping you really from from if you want to substitute the the halo um the, the elf halo glow setting powder for a slightly colored uh, more just tr less than less translucent powder do you know what i mean one, one that has a bit of color to it a little bit of coverage to it then that would that that certainly would work too but i i think for, for my technique today look at that it's amazing isn't it use a light reflecting powder on top of a, a soaked sponge and a white translucent powder to get a perfected look and i've just been in the bathroom it looks like there's nothing on my skin at all other than just airbrushed poreless beautiful skin that's it for today beautiful ones i hope you guys have a wonderful sunday have a beautiful week and i'll see you all very very soon thank you so much for being with me today lots of love wasting hours and hours and hours of footage here guys just by stumbling and making accidents and hideous mistakes all the time which is just something i do constantly guys because well it's just me guys and i think you all love me for it don't you i love you i do i love you all beautiful ones